Well, I saw the Flash trailer and, and, and the teaser, which is, you know, just the shorter version of the trailer. And um, it, it's a good trailer. It looks cool and everything. And it absolutely confirms just about every leak you've heard. <laughs> and certainly uh, with the plot, which uh, ordinarily would be kind of sad, you know, because now you pretty much know what happens in it. I mean, except for... You know how they get somewhere and what have you but uh, quite a few scenes in there even the really quick ones I was like, oh okay so uh, when he gets to the alternate universe where Michael Keaton is Batman and he meets his other self he doesn't have any powers anymore something about the uh, travel uh, sapped his powers which is similar to the Flashpoint comic book story there's a lot of points here that uh, they really did take from uh, the Flashpoint story it's just instead of Thomas Wayne, you get Michael Keaton's Batman. Instead of uh, weakened Superman locked in a government prison, you get weakened uh, Supergirl locked in a government prison. And uh, that's, you know, and, and that's it. And instead of reverse Flash, you get <laughs> the other Barry uh, goes dark and becomes the villain. Um, yeah, it's very brief, but it's seen with the, uh, some of the promo art and uh, some toys that the other Barry ends up uh, adapting a Batman costume to be his Flash costume, where he uh, cuts the ears off. <laughs> uh, because it gives him the, the protection uh, for him to develop the powers. And how does he get the powers? Well, that scene is in there. You can see it where the lightning bolt goes through the two Barrys and uh, recreates the event that uh, creates... Uh, the flash powers and connecting them to the speed force and uh so there you are uh and a lot of it uh just the rest of it you know uh ben affleck's there and uh he's trying to mentor barry and he's warning him about what he's about to do but he's going to do it anyway uh there's scenes of him on the bite uh, the bat cycle and all that stuff that looks like uh this terrorist battle that's supposed to take place at the opening of the film and uh, didn't see Wonder Woman, but I'm a, I'm guessing she's probably still in that scene, uh, just not in the extra scenes they shot for the ending. That'll that more than likely is what's been scrapped because Henry Cavill was in that as well. And uh, I you know don't know how they're going to handle this since they don't have their new universe set up. Uh, the, the, hey, have they cast anybody to be in any of the new roles? And if they did at all. My guess would be the Superman actor, but still a little bit dubious on that because, you know, they're not going to have a Superman movie for two years now. Uh, I mean, now they'll have to get started on that next year. So it's possible that they've got somebody in mind and uh, would show him appear. Um, as for all the leaks about George Clooney and whatnot, my guess is the if he's there at all, it's another cameo uh, just to showcase multiverse. There's been rumors about Christopher Reeve, perhaps a CGI Christopher Reeve. Well, obviously, if it, <laughs> unless it's old footage uh, appearing. Don't know if there's actually any interaction with the Flash, but with George Clooney, they could. Uh, Christian Bale, maybe, uh, and that sort of thing. But as far as already introducing their new Batman probably highly unlikely um but you know i mean okay you're cast you'll be in the batman movie uh, when's it start uh maybe three years from now i don't know <laughs> and so yeah I, who knows what their actual schedule is the only thing we know for sure is the superman movie has a release date uh that's about it you know uh, they, he, James Gunn mentioned all the other projects that he's got working on, but as far as when those will be available, I don't know. So, uh, but uh, other than that, uh, the basic plot of it uh, follows, uh, you know, a redone, uh, reworked uh, Flashpoint story. And, of course, they're going for Michael Keaton to sell the movie. That was always the case, even before all of Ezra's scandals, because no one cared about an Ezra Miller movie. <laughs> No one liked him in the part. Uh, he was adequate in Zack Snyder's version of Justice League because it, you know, it, it kind of reined in all the goofiness that was uh, exaggerated and hyped up in the Joss Whedon version by design. You know, they thought, "Oh, make it a funny movie because that's the secret sauce to Marvel, and that's what they wanted and all that." Um, 
but still, it's just like, yeah, that's not really Barry Allen, you know. Um, but uh, all the uh, rumors about the screening uh, screen tests, which I have to believe is now confirmed because it does follow what that that trailer seems to show an awful lot of what was revealed in those screen tests, and they always said that. It, it, it got high marks. They they liked it. They liked the concept of it. It's a strong concept of the time travel and all this type of stuff. And, uh, and of course, it go a long way with Michael Keaton coming back. It was exciting for people. Um, but it'll be a one-and-done thing, I guess. I mean, that's because <laughs> I don't see how that would fit if they went, went ahead with the plan, you know. <laughs> uh, unless they intend to do another a reboot of some sort or that somehow they reworked Aquaman's film will have a universe changing thing I don't know are they going to have flash cameos throughout those other movies changing everything because uh, before the flash we got the Shazam movie which I'm guessing will have nothing in it of that nature and then after the flash uh, was Blue Beetle but I think Blue Beetle is just going to be kept as a standalone uh, there was rumors that there was a scene where the only reference to the other universe was uh, one of the characters talks about the Flash and Supergirl. So in the original plan that Hermada uh, had where uh, Supergirl would replace Superman in the timeline, there never was a Superman. Uh, that's how they were going to do it. And so I guess that dialogue was acknowledging that for that movie. But now that's all stripped away, so you just cut that scene. And the Blue Beetle movie is just a Blue Beetle movie. Uh, you can rework him into the DCU later. So it, it's just a Blue Beetle movie, and that's all. So there's probably nothing uh, shot for that film to attach it to anything else other than maybe some name drops of LexCorp or Wayne Tech or something along those lines. But uh, that could be anybody, you know. I mean, it's Bruce Wayne and Lex Luthor, but who are playing? Who's playing them? You know, we don't know yet. <laughs> that kind of thing. And, but then you get to Aquaman. Now, there was all kinds of rumors about who uh, there was to be a Bruce Wayne and or Batman in it. Michael Keaton was in it. Then they scrapped that and shot Ben Affleck in it. Maybe that's been scrapped as well. Uh, other rumors that Wonder Woman would show up in it. Don't know about that. Uh, but it never tested well. And that's just the core of the story. The only positive feedback it got was that the chemistry between Jason Momoa and Patrick Wilson was really good as the two brothers that are at odds that have to uh, team up in this particular story uh, but that was it um, so it's probably just going to be a big mess since they're having to chop all kinds of stuff up to make it fit into their new direction I don't know so for the most part the, the, the Flash just because it's spectacular looking and interesting and you got Michael Keaton in it, it it should do well I don't know if it'll do as well as they need it to do but the rest of the movies are, have been cut off at the legs because they don't mean anything as far as a shared universe. And The Flash seemingly means something. And it's, it, James Gunn seemed to insinuate that it's a reset movie, that this is the beginning of the, you know, the new direction or what have you. Uh, but is it? You know, are they just going to say it is when it doesn't really show you anything <laughs> other than a bunch of stuff from the past? So I don't know. Uh, of course, Zod shows up in it, and they recreate the Man of Steel battle, which is going to sting a little more since you know what happened to Henry Cavill. Uh, oh boy! And but talk about a tough uphill battle they've given to their new Superman actor, you know, <laughs> poor guy, you know. But uh, you know, we'll see what they do with that. But but uh, so it's all there, uh, and so uh, other than where it goes and that sort of thing is all but ultimately uh, the villain is the other flash uh it's also there's scenes there where he seems quite taken with the supergirl in this movie and uh, the the plot was that he he immediately it's love at first sight he falls in love with her and uh she doesn't survive the battle with zod uh, it ends very differently and apparently uh, as i recall the batman doesn't survive either and that was the big surprise after the big battle between the two Flashes and Barry's trying to put the universe back to the way it was supposed to be. And uh, he has to learn the terrible lesson that he's, he can't be changing time like that just because he wants his mommy back. And uh, that ultimately 
his Bruce Wayne was right, you know. And so, uh, but at the end, after he wins, and he seemingly does, he comes back what he thinks is home to save his dad from prison and all that. And lo and behold, Bruce Wayne is Michael Keaton, and uh, there's no Superman, there's Supergirl. And he's like, huh? And then there's supposed to have been this scene where Ben Affleck says, Barry, I'm trapped, you have to come save us, that type of thing, is you know to leave it, the door open for a return of the DCEU and all that sort of stuff. Well, I'm sure all that's gone. <laughs> so how it ends and what Batman does he meet, if any, at the end, that's really the only mystery left. You know, but, you know, so it's all kind of spoiled, <laughs> but that's the place DC is in and it's unfortunate, but that's where it is. And uh, also plus the fact that their star is just, just a mess. But it's still probably a good movie, you know, just for within the context of that film it, unto itself, it might be fun. I, I have heard of people complaining about the effects in it, but then again, I've always been rather, I've not been so harsh on that. Uh, I mean, I actually enjoyed some CW shows, <laughs> so that tells you what you know. I'm not <laughs> as, as uh, concerned about it as much, unless it's just really blatantly bad. But I didn't see anything there. It was a little odd. Uh, there were scenes of Ben Affleck where they seemed to have really turned up the blue in his costume to make him look like the more classic comic book Batman look, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but other than that, it all looks pretty good to me. So, uh, so uh, certainly, I've always been curious to see it and interested in what it, what it does. Um, but it's just, no matter how good you do, there's this constant uh, just curse, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of incompetence and unnecessary crap that went on through all this endeavor. Uh, and I guess that's just going to continue. Um, but, uh, but there it is. So uh, on to June to see what comes of this. And I'm sure there'll be other stuff leaking out as we go. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, it's a good trailer. And uh, usually I say, well, that doesn't mean anything. A bad trailer can mean it still means it's a good movie. A good trailer doesn't mean it's a good movie. You know, that kind of thing. But uh, this one pretty much confirms the plot as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, but, um, I, yeah, I want to see it. So, and then I guess it did its job. <laughs> <laughs>